want to talk to you guys about today is um, it's understanding. It's all about understanding, and not just not just understanding other people's situations. Because uh, in, in my mind, and I know my mom's mind too, uh, empathy and being empathetic towards somebody else and their situation and their successes and struggles and everything in between. That's one of the most important qualities that we can have is being empathetic and being able to sympathize with somebody else's situation, being able to be there for someone when they need you and being there to lend a helping hand or if someone's, if someone's starting to fall, you're there to kind of lean, them to lean on you and you push them right back, always keep moving forward. But also, that's one side of the point. The other side is understanding your own situation and knowing that, you know, taking a step back once in a while, taking a look at, you know, the kind of the bigger picture, not getting too focused on the one leaf on one tree in one forest, but taking a step back and looking at that forest, pictures start to become a little bit clearer as we put, you know, perspective sometimes, and we have a better understanding for where we're at. So I want to give you one quick story that um, it's gonna make you smile. I hope it makes you smile. Um, about understanding, about understanding a situation that you're in. So it's about a pet shop, a pet shop that uh, one day the store owner put a big sign in their window that says uh, it said puppies for sale. And obviously, when you put a sign in your window that says puppies for sale, it draws certain attention from certain crowds. And there was a little boy who was walking past and saw the sign and got all excited and ran into this pet store and ran up to the pet owner and said, "How much?" How much are these puppies? How much are they? And the store owner looked at him and said, well, they're anywhere from $30 to $50, depending on which dog you know, you'd like. And he goes, okay. And he goes rifling through his pockets and he pulls out some loose change and he counts it up real quick. He says, I have $2.37. Can I look at the puppies? And the pet owner says, of course, of course you can. So he calls to one of his assistants in the back and she brings out these five adorable balls of fluff. And they're just so energetic and so full of life. And as those five come out, there's a sixth puppy that comes out, but walking a little bit slower than the rest. And the boy looks at the five, but then his attention gets drawn to the sixth one that's in the back. And he, he looks at the pet owner and goes, uh, what's with the one in the back? What's with that last one that just came out? And the pet owner explained that that puppy was born uh, from the litter without a socket in one of its hips. So it would always have that same limp. It would always, it would always have that limp its entire life. There was nothing that you know anybody could do. It was nobody's fault, but it would always walk with that limp. And very determined, very, you know, as, as focused as an eight-year-old boy can be, he looks at the pet owner and says, that's the one I want. That's the one I want, that sixth one that just came out. And the pet owner kind of was a little bit shocked and surprised and kind of shrugged it off a little bit and laughed and said, you know, you don't want that one. You hear, you hear these five perfectly good puppies, you know, here are the ones you can, you can look at, you can play with. You know, if you wanted that, and if you wanted that last one, I would give you that puppy for free. You don't even have to pay me for that puppy. So now the little kid starts to get angry. <laughs> starts to get angry and he looks at that pet owner and says, no, that puppy is just as good as the rest of those five that just came out. So if I want that one, I'm gonna pay for him full price. And I'll bring you 25 cents every single week until I'm paid up, until I'm paid up for that last puppy, All right? And the pet owner looks at him again and goes, you know, son, there's, that, pet, that puppy won't be able to run and jump and play with you like the other puppies can. He just won't be able to, it's nobody's fault. That's just, that's just his life, okay? And very slowly and very confidently, that little boy looks down and grabs his pant leg and pulls it up, and he has a prosthetic leg from the hip socket down. And so he looks at the pet owner and says, well, I don't run and jump and play so well either, so he's gonna need someone that understands, okay? Understanding your situation and being empathetic for somebody else's situation is so, so important. It's so important. And this was like one small example. It made me smile when I read. It made my mom cry, that's why I have her upstairs. She wasn't allowed to be here for this power talk. Um, but it's all about being empathetic to somebody else's situation. And when somebody else is struggling, I like to look at it that we're all struggling. So I want to be able to be there for that person. All right. So in turn, we're all there. We're all really there for each other. It's, you know, one finger by itself isn't that strong, but you put all five together and you throw some speed punches for 10 seconds. There's a whole lot of power in those speed punches as we've seen, as we've sweated through. Okay. Being understanding is so, so important. And I think as we go through these, these 10 weeks, how it's a little bit different than we've ever had before. We're understanding, we're empathetic to other people's situations and we're always here for each other, right? You guys wake up so early in the morning and you're not just doing this for yourself, but in a way, you're here to push each other in that way. Just by sprinting it as fast as you can, just by smiling and giving me, again, even when I ask for it, the fist bump and the high five into that screen, it goes a long, there you go, perfect. It goes a long way. It makes a difference. It's one stone's throw in a pond that gives that huge ripple effect day over day, okay? So remember, keep that understanding. Way to close out week six as strong as you can. Let me put you guys unmuted for a quick second. Uh, I want you to put it nice and close. 
All right, I want you to say take it to the max on three nice and loud. You guys did phenomenal. Like seriously, phenomenal. Way to close out week six together and stronger. All right, take it to the max on three nice and loud. One, two, three. Take it to, take the, it max. to the max. Have a great rest of your morning, your weekend.